So we'll this we'll sing this song by Matyan Thakur. Glorifying Nityananda Prabhu. Bada sukhe khabo gaye, bada sukhe khabo gaye, bada sukhe khabo gaye, bada sukhe khabo gaye, sura bhi kunje te na me hat kule chhe, sura bhi kunje te na me hat kule chhe. Hey, hey. 
থাকে থাকো বানে থাকো না থাকে ঝঞ্ঝে থাকো বানে থাকো না থাকে ঝঞ্ঝানি আচণ্ডালে দে নাম আচণ্ডালে দে নাম
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram.
श्लोक का उपाद की जाए गौर भक्त वृंद की जाए गौर प्रेमानंद हरि हरि ओम अज्ञान तिमिरंथ से ज्ञान जन शलाकया चक्षुर मुदित होने तस्म श्री गुरव नमः श्री चैतन्य मनोदिष्ठ स्थापित येन भूतले स्वयं रूप पदाय ददा स्वपदाति वंदेहम श्री गुरु श्री उतापतकमल श्री गुरु वैष्णव श्री रूप सागर जात सहगण रघुनाथ मृत तम सजीव साधुवैत सवधूत परीजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्री राधा कृष्ण पाद सहगण ललिता श्री विशाखा मृत हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका का राधा का नमस्ते तप्त कांचन गौरंगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुतिदेवी प्रणमा हरि वंशकलपतरुभेश कृपा सिंधुभ एव पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णव नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्री वासादि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे मुखम करोति वाचाल पंगुम लंगाइते गिरी यद कृपा तम अहम वंदे श्री गुरु दीन तारीण परमानंद माधव श्री चेतनेश्वर so we are just starting the 13th chapter the ecstatic dancing of the lord at rath yatra jay jay shri krishna chaitanya nityananda jay advaita chandra jay gaura bhakta vrinda all glory shri chaitanya mahaprabhu shri krishna chaitanya and prabhu nityananda all glory to advaita acharya all glory to devotees of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu जय श्रोता गण सुना करी एक मना रथ यात्रा नित्य प्रभुरा परम मोहन और ग्लोरियस टू द लिस्नर्स ऑफ श्री चैतन्य चरिता प्लीज ही द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द डांसिंग ऑफ लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाप्रभु एट द रथ यात्रा फेस्टिवल इज डांसिंग इज वेरी एंचेंटिंग प्लीज हियर ऑफ इट विद ग्रेट अटेंशन सो कृष्णा कविराज गोस्वामी सिंह ऑल ग्लोरियस टू लिस्नर्स ऑफ श्री चैतन्य चरिता टू ऑल ऑफ अस um and uh, this chapter describes the ecstatic dancing of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu at the yatra festival <coughs> aradina mahaprabhu hana savadhana rate uthi gana sange kaila prata snana the next day shri chaitanya mahaprabhu and his personal associates got up in the dark and attentively took their early morning baths so this is a description of the morning of rath yatra um so they all slept they got a very early it was still dark and they all took their early early morning baths and naturally they go to the sea to take their early bath pandu vijay dekhi bare kari laga mana jagana tayatre kaila chadi simhasana Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his personal associates then went to see the ceremony of Pandu Vijay. During the ceremony, Lord Jagannath leaves his throne and gets up onto the cart. So we will see something about the description of the cart also today. Some description about basically Jagannath Rath Yatra. Uh, in that happens in Puri, and it's quite um, um, quite grand. so what happens in the night only the pujaris they wake up lord jagannath there is snan yatra when lord jagannath is brought out of the temple and then he is bathed with baldev and subhadra and then um then he becomes sick and then he goes into the inner chamber um where he spends the time with lakshmi devi and uh, um, he doesn't give darshan to anyone he eats very simple food and he gets recovered and then the day uh, comes after 15 days and the day come after 15 days where the lord is ready to come out for the um, to giving darshan to everyone so this there is a ceremony early morning ceremony which is called pandu vijay ceremony where the lord jagannath he leaves his inner chambers the throne and then he walks out to the cart um and it's celebrated with great um like great celebrations 
and not everybody is allowed to get that darshan. Apani Pratapa Rudra, Lana Patra Gana, Mahaprabhu Nagarne Karaya, Vijaya Darshana. King Pratap Rudra in person, as well as his Antaraj, allowed the Pandu Vijay ceremony to be seen by all the associates of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So not everybody was allowed, but naturally the king was Pratap Rudra Maharaj. So he said, Lord Chaitanya and all his associates should go inside and see the ceremony. Usually, the Jagannath is always under the care of the pandas. You see a lot of pandas here, and he is really big. And if you see here, uh, see one panda, probably seven pandas will stand next to each other. That will cover the width of Jagannath. And he is like thousands of pounds weight. So like 30, 40 pandas from all sides, they actually lift him. Like really very, very big. Um, the very strong Bill Daityas, carrier of the Jagannath deity, were as powerful as drunken elephants. So elephants are most powerful and drunken elephants are really powerful. So they are like, if you, those who have been to Jagannath Puri, they are really powerful people. Um, I mean, Jagannath has blessed them with so much strength. So like, they carry like this much, uh, this much uh, matkas, um, of uh, all the items and they carry like three matkas together so um, <clears throat> they manually carried lord jagannath from the throne to the car the word daita refers to one who has received the mercy of the lord so daya means mercy so they are called daitas they have lord's mercy so lord jagannath allows them to personally engage in their service and Lord Jagannath loves them. Um, there are actually, uh, Jagannath temple has kind of not many rules and regulations. He is very merciful. Um, and But the kind of worship Jagannath receives, it's quite high. Actually, if you actually get a chance to go to the kitchen of Jagannath Puri temple, there are 500, 600 pandas who are working to prepare bhoga for Jagannath. And they prepare like 56 items and each item they offer in quintals prepared this much rice. And it's not that one plate goes to Jagannath. It's like the whole quintals and quintals of food goes and 56 items we can imagine. Um, and then um, um, there are 56 offerings a day. So we can imagine um, thousands of pandas are engaged just in cooking and making making bhoga offering for Lord Jagannath. And they, they are like, how many? There are like thousands and thousands of pandas. And they are all together serving one deity, Jagannath Valdev Subhadra. So the standard that is followed at Jagannath temple is impossible to understand. They have every day, they have almost every day, they have certain functions, rituals. It's, it's, and uh, only their family generations and they don't follow any rules and regulations um, they are like they are that's what they're called daitas who have received the mercy of lord jagannath and we know that one time ramanuja charya he wanted to organize the worship of lord jagannath and he slept he got up and he found himself somewhere he found himself somewhere in south india lord jagannath transferred ramanuja he's an acharya but Lord Jagannath didn't want to change his worship. He is very happy with the worship. And there are so many stories connected to um, Jagannath. So they, they, so I'm sure you all have heard many, many stories. But in one particular case, this person is doing brush, Datun. He is brushing. And then he is making, um, he is making rice for Jagannath. This is early morning offering. I mean, 56 offerings means it goes, it's packed <laughs> one after another it goes. So he gets up, he comes without even any cleanliness. He just, he's brushing and then he's offering and he's cooking for Jagannath. So like that, their worship is going on. Um, but the still, the, the way he is worshipped, um, nowhere in the world uh, a deity is worshipped like Jagannath is worshipped. Um, I mean, imagine how many pujaris, thousands of pujaris are serving one, one deity. And there is one particular instance where one king, superintendent, when he saw 
that this person is you know when you brush there are certain spits that go out unconsciously so he saw that the spits are going in the food of jagannath and he is um, brushing and then he is uh, cooking uh, rice for jagannath so they told him that this is the way to serve the lord he is the lord of the universe and is that the way you worship get out from here so he became very sad and he went and that day when they offered some other pujari in clean clothes and everything like the way we do in our temples when he offered to jagana jagana did not eat so jagana is very high he is on a platform and then he is like much bigger than the height of any daita um <clears throat> so there like two three pujaris like this and they dress lord jagana because he is so big so um and how they offer food is they saw his face they see his face in the water which is offered and if they cannot see the face means jagana doesn't accept it so that time they tried very hard and they could not see the face of jagana so they understood that jagana has not accepted and uh, jagana was not accepting any of the offerings that day so later on he came in the dream of the king and he said bring the daita back i love him so much why did you take him out of my service and then they searched and they found they brought him back and he started cooking and then immediately they could see the face of lord jagannath in the water in through the reflection of the water so they know that jagannath is happy again so jagannath rules and regulations organization nothing exist um but lord jagannath loves them and that's why when we go we may easily find fault in them because everything about them is quite uh, uh, spontaneous but one should be careful they are allowed by jagannath so uh, chetanya mahaprabhu and all the associates they went uh, to observe how jagannath is brought out from the inner chambers to the cart the lord jagannath deity was bound at the waist by a strong thick rope made of silk from two sides the daitas called hold of this rope and raise the deity so how they bring him so he has a hand like this so around like this they bind a waist because there is no way to carry him um he is he is just too big no way to hold him from all different sides so they put a waist around his waist uh, just below the hand and they are like smooth but they are very thick ropes and every daita they pick the uh, the rope like this and then actually he is so heavy that he cannot be carried so they jump him to one step and then one step and then one step and there are all around they there are very powerful daitas and they try to carry jagannath so and then there is music and um as you see here and jagannath is so big and he is so attractive and he is so beautiful so lord jagannath deity was bound at the waist by a strong thick rope made of silk from the two sides daita called hold of this rope and raised the deities strong puffed up cotton pads called tulis were spread out from the throne to the car and the heavy deity of lord jagannath was carried from one pillow like pad to the next by the daitas so they they place him on a cotton pad and then they all say jai jagannath and then they say jai jagannath and they all push him so he is so heavy it takes a full force and then they put him into the uh, next cotton pad and next and they are very thick and how large they are they are huge so they can hold jagannath like 10 people can sleep it's like much bigger than a a full bed size also like that there are cotton pads and when jagannath sits on them some of them they just broke and all the cotton comes out uh, and fly in the air so it is so hard to carry jagannath to um um to the cart <clears throat> and this ceremony is observed it actually um it takes hours to um bring jagannath from inside to outside um and we will see the whole description is actually today this only about uh, um um about jagannath while the daitas carried the heavy jagannath deity from one pad to the next some of the pads broke and the cotton contents floated into the air when they broke they made a heavy cracking 
sound just like you know puffed up thing so there is some cracking sound so so like that uh, um he goes from step to step um vishwam bhara jagana the ke chalai te pare apana hi chaya chale kari te vi hare lord jagannath is the maintainer of the whole universe who can carry him from one place to another the lord moves by his personal will just to perform his past time so no one can actually carry jagannath uh, he is the lord of the universe he carries the whole universe uh, so who can carry the lord but the lord moves by his own personal will just to perform his past times so this is um, um, um like a lot can be said here many times um jagannath he comes out and then if jagannath doesn't if jagannath wants to wait so there are many past times that happens there and only um the devotees of the lord can understand the mind of the lord like jitane mahaprabhu could understand the mind of jagannath but everybody cannot understand so he is sitting on a pad and then uh, likewise balaram is coming and subhadra is coming so they are coming different different ways and thousands of pandas so sometimes jagannath wait for baldev and subhadra he wants to wait for them so then the daitas they give a full push and jai jagannath and they all give a full push and jagannath doesn't move and then they wait because it takes some time to gather energy then full energy they pick up lord jagannath jai jagannath and then they pick and then they again cannot move and when jagannath sees his his eyes are like this and so he looks in all directions so when he sees that okay baldev is here and then they all the daita say jai jagannath and he immediately moves and he can go one two pads ahead also so um sometimes it's about so everything dealing with the bringing lord jagannath from the temple to the cart it's uh, it's actually a past time so krishna skavirat goswami says who can carry him from one place to another but he moves by his personal will so sometimes jagannath is uh, going on his cart and uh, baldev also going baldev is little bit behind so jagannath does not get up into the cart so everywhere they put cotton pads and they move him step by step and when he moves step by step so when you know like he is bound by the ropes so when they pick up the ropes then naturally he leans back because the ropes the rope you cannot make him like balance so and he is so heavy that he is not in anyone's control i mean he is in his own control alone so they pick up and then he moves like this and then he comes and sit down like this and then they again pick up the rope and he moves like this and then he sits up like this so he keeps on like a rock and roll chair and that's how he moves so if you see detroit temple also how they bring jagannath now our temple deities like in detroit temple and various other places around the world jagannath is very light one person can carry him like this they are very small so they bring jagannath like this just to follow the tradition in puri but in puri he likes to you know like jhula jhulna so he likes and then it's natural because they carry him by rope so they all carry him by ropes and then naturally where the weight lies of jagannath in the back he just turns like this and then he again sits down like this so there is um a um, lot of fun and it gives lot of pleasure seeing the walking of jagannath and it takes hours sometimes to get to one place that's why sometimes early morning the rath is supposed to start by 11 am and some some year 4 or 5 pm in the afternoon and jagannath is not willing to get up onto the cart only um, and if it is late whenever night come jagannath stops so the whole rath stays there so this rath yatra is like uh, very unpredictable past times everything there happens by the will of lord jagannath so while the lord was transported from the throne to the cart tumultuous sound were made on various musical instruments and yeah lot of gongs and bells and uh, um instruments drums and those sound is like traditional to puri and it is very sweet and it is sung for uh, um uh, for the pleasure of uh, um, lord jagannath lord jag the amount of pastimes lord jagannath has no deity in the world has those pastimes um it is like uh, um <clears throat> 
there are many many pastimes uh, so i'll tell you one so uh, lord jagannath really likes uh, geet govinda by jaydev goswami jaydev goswami was a pure devotee of lord krishna and he wrote geet govinda geet govinda is basically the description of ras leela and uh, that happens uh, in vrindavan and the night and there is a whole detailed description um uh, at uh, dheer samira and uh, the gopis came and krishna played with them in a way um, he put them down and they were uh, um um they were very sad and they started making circles on the ground so um um and then he disappeared um he he danced with them and then he disappeared so there is this whole chapters are described in one song called geet govinda so prabhupa says this geet govinda should be read by jayadev goswami should be read only at the platform of siddhas one one becomes qualified one can read those but i have heard this is what geet govinda contains so chaitanya mahaprabhu would love geet govinda and uh, when jagannath he um, um jayadev goswami he came and he spoke geet govinda in front of uh, lord jagannath and lord jagannath apparently smiled very happy and then lord jagannath really loved geet govinda by jayadev goswami um and there was uh, there is one instance where uh, um uh, yeah and there was uh, one instance where uh, one muslim he was actually reciting this you know he liked the uh, um um geet govinda by jayadev goswami so he was somewhere out in the bush and he was reciting geet govinda and jagannath went there hiding um i know it's he is very difficult to move but he can go by his own free will anywhere and everywhere he likes so he went by the bush and he was hiding behind the tree and uh, it was a um, dense bush so and this muslim was uh, reciting geet govinda so he heard with the um, both the ears wide open and then when the uh, song was over he came back. in the rush because it was time for the next offering so he came back and his clothes had uh, he w- were torn at many places because uh, the bush had many you know like uh, uh, um um kante um, um, sharp bushes were there um, and less space and he is really big so he came and then he sat down and then all the pujaris were aghasted like afraid what happened to the lord and he went alone because this is related to his past time only his krishna's past time so uh, it took long time for devotees to understand it actually he um he goes anywhere and everywhere wherever geet govinda is sung he goes there and then the king made a tradition that uh, uh, geet govinda should be um acted upon in front of lord jagannath every single day so what they would do is they would have geet govinda played with music even till today this is observed and uh, um um there are some girls they are called the servants of um, jagannath and they dance on geet govinda and they prepare so it's like the song is sung and a play is made every day it is in for the pleasure of lord jagannath and one other thing we saw is ramananda roy and uh, was preparing the they are called the dasis or the servants of lord jagannath he was preparing the dasis to perform the dance on geet govinda so that was one of the service of ramananda roy um um and then one time i mean the king keeps changing so one time there was another king he wanted to uh, he also wrote a poem describing krishna's ras leela pastimes so uh, he made an order that instead of geet govinda um, this song should be sung every day for lord jagannath it is even more uh, melodious and um, a more detailed descriptions uh, um, than jayadev goswami's geet govinda so he is a king so nobody can say anything 
So all the uh, daitas, they, I mean, they cannot say anything to the king. So they thought, let the king, let Jagannath decide um, which song he wants to hear every day. So in front of Jagannath, they put a copy of Kirkovinda and they put a copy of the song uh, written by the new king. And then they left. So in the morning they came and the book by the king, it was torn and every page was torn into hundreds of pieces. So it was flying all over the place like trash. And Geet Govinda by Jayadev Goswami was kept at, as it is. So the king understood that Lord wants to hear Jayadev Goswami's Geet Govinda only. And this tradition is being continued. There are, there are so many pastimes of uh, how Jagannath um, reveals himself. And there are books and books written on um, the pastimes of Lord Jagannath. <clears throat> so um, while the Lord was transported from the throne to the car, tumultuous sounds were made on various musical instruments. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was chanting Manima, Manima, but he could not be heard. The word Manima is used to address a respectable person in Orissa. Lord Jagannath was being respectfully addressed by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in this way as Manima, Manima. So Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu with all his devotees early in the morning, still night time. The sun has not arisen and thousands of people gathered uh, to observe the Pandu Vijay uh, ceremony and Daitas were carrying and Lord Jagannath was dancing and coming out and pads. it was such a beautiful scene and so many musical instruments and one way to see that Lord Jagannath has no rules and regulations last time I went to Jagannath Mandir went with some devotees and there were uh, it was like 1.30 a.m. in the morning and Lord Jagannath was late so he gave darshan to us at 1.30 a.m. And he remained open for 2.30 till 2.30 a.m. in the morning. So he has no sleeping time. Any time devotees want, they put him to rest. Any time he gets, any time he eats, any time he goes out, any time he does anything. Everything in Jagannath Puri happens by the will of Jagannath. Um, so yeah, the glories of Jagannath is like... Um, um, uncountable pastimes of the Lord. While the Lord was being carried from the throne to the car, King Pratap Rudha personally engaged in the Lord's service by cleansing the road with a broom that had a golden handle. So as he was going from pad to pad, um, Jagannath was uh, trying to... So they put... the Jagannath, So the king himself was cleaning the road. And they put the pads and then they bring Jagannath. And same when the Rath starts, then he was cleaning the road so the Rath can go. So this service is done by the king because everyone is servant of um, Lord Jagannath. So he would take the most menial service. I mean, uh, the prestigious service is to carry Jagannath and to touch Jagannath and to dress Jagannath. This is like prestigious service. And menial service is uh, to sweep the grounds. Um, so he would personally sweep and other servants would carry the Lord. So although the king was the most exalted, respectable person, I mean, his devotion, the Maharaj Pratap Rudha devotion is like unparalleled devotion. So most exalted, respectable person. Still, he accepted the menial service for the Lord. He therefore became a suitable candidate for receiving the Lord's mercy. So Krishna is, you know, um, he watches everything. And he reciprocates based on um, our mood, our mood of our service. So <clears throat> everybody was watching. It's such a great festival, actually. Mahaprabhu sukha paila seseva dekhite Mahaprabhu ratripa haila seseva haite. Upon seeing the king engaged in such menial service, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu became very happy. Simply by rendering this service, the king received the mercy of the Lord. So Mahaprabhu was pleased just by seeing how the king, being the king, is sweeping the floor for the pleasure of Jagannath. So he can walk. And seeing that uh, Maharaj Pratap and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu 
became very happy. So it's very easy to receive the mercy of the Lord if we just keep um, um, Krishna's service in the center with actually the mood of service. Not just because somebody asks us to clean, but it's like one willingly, spontaneously develops a desire. I am doing it for the Lord. I am doing it for Jagannath. Um, and that actually devotion is very satisfying. Shri Bhagavatam says, uh, When it is unmotivated, without any material motivation, and uninterrupted, and performed only for the pleasure of the Lord, um, it is very satisfying. And we see that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself cleansed the Kundicha temple um, in the last chapter we saw. Service to Ramananda Roy, request from devotees, menial service. So there are various ways uh, Maharaj Pratap Rudra acted to express his eagerness. And first he doubled the salary of Ramananda Roy before without uh, any service from him. He doubled the salary as a pension. Then he asked all the devotees to please request Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to give his mercy. And then he is doing the menial service. Um, and uh, he would make all arrangements for Lord Chaitanya. Throughout, actually, Maharaj Pradha Prudha is really glorifying Chaitanya Charitamrita. In various chapters, his description comes how he is continuously rendering service to the Lord. Everyone was astonished to see the decorations on the Rath car. Now, something about Rath car we will see. The car appeared to be newly made of gold and it was as high as Mount Sumeru. So how high is the cart of Lord Jagannath? It is as high as Mount Sumeru. I mean, not that physically it is as high, but it looks so high. that And uh, um, it is uh, made of wood um, and sun. And it seems like it is like designer gold, newly made of gold. So here are some pictures. This is like you see, this is one of the wheel of uh, the chariot. Each chariot has 16 wheels. So as you see here, a lot of wheels um, to carry the cart. And then this is another picture of the whole axle is like a tree. The whole tree trunk is used as an axle. And... Uh, there is a wheel that they are trying. Um, actually, this uh, beginning of Rath card begins on Akshatritya day, which was yesterday. The card begins. And every year they make new cards. Um, <clears throat> and then um, you see the Excel behind. How huge is the Excel? So that gives us some idea of the width of the um, Rath, Rath card. Uh, how wide it is um, and these all wheels along with that axle that you see behind this all will be just the base of one chariot and like that there are three chariots and I don't know how many hundreds of devotees engage for um, three months to make this cart of Lord Jagannath and this you can see how tall is the chariot you see we saw the axle and we saw the wheel and how small are the wheel compared to the height of the cart. So when we are there, we understand what is this. It's actually a spectacular vision to see the Lord sitting um, 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 in the chariot. I mean, at one point of time, it's like a, a whole mansion, basically. Um, and um, hundreds of daitas stand on each cart, hundreds of them. And they walk, they sleep there, everything they do there on the inside the cart. So we can imagine how big it is and see that dimension of uh, like um, uh, the height to the wheel. And this is still making the base of uh, 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 Jagannath chariot. So 16 wheels per chariot. <clears throat> and this is how the base of chariot looks like. And on the top, it reaches like the mountain, um, uh, so tall. So, yeah. And this is how they design the color and each wheel looks very attractive. And then they place all the demigods on the, on the cart. So you see they're the deities and everything is made by them every year. 
so this is how beautiful the cart looks um, and ganesh is there all the demigods they are basically helping to run the cart and you see the ropes beneath so it's 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 something to see it is said one who sees lord jagannath on the cart once in a lifetime never have to take birth again and lord jagannath is in a really happy mood um on this rath yatra day and naturally um this is the only day non indians can actually see lord jagannath otherwise they cannot see uh, lord jagannath um so yeah very very beautiful um um celebration is this rath yatra i personally have desire so far in this life i haven't been to um jagannath puri on the rath yatra day and you just see like i heard like millions of people without any promotion they assemble they are just touching the rope they feel they are delivered by the mercy of the lord just just touching and now they have some rules and regulations previously anybody can go onto the cart and touch lord jagannath also in any condition of cleanliness so they literally have no, no organization rules and regulations but they all serve the lord with spontaneous devotion the decorations included bright mirrors so this is inside the cart everywhere i don't have a picture i could not find a picture for this but they are bright mirrors and hundreds and hundreds of chamaras um white whisks made of yak tails so yak is an animal and yak tail he is you know white color so he has a white tail so from that uh, tail um they make chamaras and throughout all the directions they decorate with hundreds and hundreds of chamaras so it all looks like white feathers everywhere and then there are mirrors installed so some description i mean we saw the the chariot how beautiful was the wheel and how beautiful were the demigods how beautifully they designed so we can only imagine how beautiful it would be inside the chariot so um um thousands of daitas they are only trying to make nice arrangements for lord jagannath um um just imagine thousands of pujaris uh what will be the standard of worship and just imagine how dear would all these devotees be to lord jagannath they they are born from childhood they serve jagannath and they die serving jagannath and they have nothing else in life and to maintain their families of course they have family they have children so uh, to maintain their families they give mahaprasad of jagannath to people and they get some 100 200 500 that's how they get something in the month so they all maintain themselves like that and then uh, sometime they kind of <laughs> raise funds for themselves and but their life from beginning to end is just serving lord jagannath they have no jobs they have they are brahmanas i mean actually it is said that they are not brahmanas <laughs> it's just in the same family tradition it's going on and um yeah their generations and generations and generations just serve lord jagannath so the decorations included yeah um th- hundreds and hundreds of chamaras on the top of the car was a neat and clean canopy and a very beautiful flag and the canopy is like touching the clouds it's like so high um and actually you know just like radha madhav deities i don't know how many have have you been to mayapur if you go and see radha madhav you see radha madhav in a picture and you feel like you know they are nice size but when you see radha madhav in person then you will be shocked how big how big is lord chaitanya he is like 9 feet or something like huge um uh, from half kilometer also you will see the expressions of lord chaitanya um from the very far when you are walking on the road outside the temple you see lord chaitanya smiling there so so big are the are the deities of radha madha and lord chaitanya so from the picture is difficult to imagine but when we are there we see the car was also decorated with silken clothes and various pictures many brass bells gongs and ankle bells rang so there is continuous sound for the pleasure of the lord and millions of people 
and Lord Jagannath is smiling and he is watching at everybody. And he is simply bestowing mercy to everybody who comes on this day. This is the, this is the happiest day. Lord Jagannath is actually the happiest form of the Lord. And this is the happiest day. You just see the crowd um, on this day. And the roads of uh, this, this like uh, Jagannath temple, the roads are huge. And you can see three of those chariots with all the people can fit in. How big will be the, the road? And they have made the road in this way because everything in Puri is Jagannath. Jai Jagannath, Jai Jagannath. For the pastimes of Rath Yatra ceremony, Lord Jagannath got, got aboard one car and his sister Subhadra and elder brother Balaram got, got aboard two other cars. So they have three carts. Jagannath, Baldev, Subhadra in the same order. For 15 days, the Lord had remained in a secluded place with the Supreme Goddess of Fortune and had performed his pastimes with her. So that is another personal intimacy of Jagannath with Goddess of Fortune. Um, and he enjoys there um, in a secluded portion. And then he comes out and then he enjoys with his devotees. So this time nobody goes other than very, very few confidential pandas to serve the Lord. Um, Having taken permission from the goddess of fortune, the Lord came out to ride on the Rath car and perform his pastimes for the pleasure of the devotees. So he comes out and he gives his darshan to everyone. The fine white sand spread all over the path resembled the bank of the Yamuna. And the small gardens on both sides look just like those in Vrindavan. So he goes um, and then... Um, at, there is a garden on both sides and um, now actually there's a lot of construction but this is like 500 years back so there is garden on both sides when he goes and uh, the banks um, like white sand spread everywhere so it feels like um, there is Rindavan and there is it is at the bank of Yamuna so that side gives reminds him of Rindavan and that's what Rathyatra is, is going from Dwarka to Vrindavan. And Gundicha we saw is compared to Vrindavan. So when he walks by, then he sees that I am I am coming to Vrindavan. And it gives him so much ecstatic transcendental pleasure to the Lord. <clears throat> and that's actually the mood of Rathyatra. As Lord Jagannath rode in his car and saw the beauty on both sides, his mind was filled with pleasure. So quite personal. Uh, he is looking everywhere with his slanting eyes. The pullers of the car were known as Gaudas and they pulled with great pleasure. However, the car sometimes went very fast and sometimes very slow. And this all happens by the will of the Lord Jagannath. And uh, uh, what is described is the car moves by itself. Um, when Jagannath doesn't want to move or want to move very slowly to catch up Balaam and Subhadra, then although people are putting the same pressure, Jagannath really slows down and nobody understands why. And when he wants to move faster to catch them up, then same people, same force, and then he starts running like very fast. So these are his pastimes. Sometimes the car would stand still and not move, even though it was pulled very vigorously. The chariot therefore moved by the will of the Lord, not by the strength of any ordinary persons. And he just, he's the Lord of the universe and whatever he wants happens. And nobody can understand because there are millions of devotees. Um, but the mood is quite um, devotional and yeah, full of spiritually surcharged um, ecstatic devotion. Tabe Mahaprabhu Sabha Lana Bhagdagana Swahasta Paraila Sabe Malya Chandana. As the car stood still, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gathered all his devotees. Now Mahaprabhu would perform some pastimes. So this is the description of the Lord getting onto the cart, as you see in a picture. So he got, he told all the devotees, come, come here. So he gathered his intimate group and then with his own hand decorated them with flower garlands and sandalwood pulp. And there is Advaita Acharya, Nityananda Prabhu. Haridas Thakur, Vakreshwar Pandit, Murari Gupta, Shivas Thakur, uh, Haridas Thakur, and uh, uh, yeah, you name it, they all were there. 
So during the four months rainy season when they come, that's the time Jagannath Rath Yatra happens. So every year Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would perform ecstatic pastimes during the Rath Yatra festival with all the devotees from Bengal. Um, so he he called them. He put flower garland and sandalwood bulb onto them, and preaching means love. Um, and we see that pure love between the Lord and His devotees. Chari sampradaya haila, chabisha gayana, chabisha gayana, doi doi mirdanga mirdangi ka haila ashta jana. There were all together four parties of kirtan performers. So he made various kirtan parties, and throughout the width of the road, there is Jagannath Baldev Subhadra. So throughout the width, we will we will see this. So there are kirtan parties in the front, in the side, and in the back. So from all angles, Lord Jagannath was surrounded by devotees chanting and glorifying through the Mahamantra. So four parties of kirtan performers comp comprising twenty-four chanters. Um, in each party, there were two mridanga players making an additional. Eight person, so they would they were like a, um, um, lead singer, lead dancer, five who would follow the singing, one lead, five followers, two mridanga players, various kartal players, um, and multiple followers. So this is one party uh, prominent, and likewise he made four parties. Rabe Mahaprabhu mane vichara kariya. Chari Sampradaya Dila, Gayana Bantiya. When the four parties were formed, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, after some consideration, divided a chant. So all the devotees were there. And then he started dividing, you go group one, group two, group three, group four. Likewise, he divided the chanters. Nityananda Advaita Haridas Vakreshwar, Chari Jane Agya Dila, Nityakari Bare. Uh, Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ordered Nityanda Prabhu, Advaita Acharya, Haridas Thakur, and Vakresha Pandit to dance in each of the four respective parties. So they were dancers. Advaita Acharya loved to dance. Nityanda Prabhu loved to dance. And that's why we see when Mahaprabhu would do Kirtan, Nitya and Advaita and Haridas, it is mentioned they would always jump in to dance. So they were like lead dancers. So in four different, just to make all the groups very strong, four lead dancers. To dance in each of the four respective parties. Prathama Sampradaya Kaila Sarupa Pradhan Arapancha Jana Dila Tandra Paligan. Sharup Damodar was chosen as the leader of the first party and was given five assistants to respond to his chanting. So one chanter, five to respond, two Mridanga players, and one lead um, uh, dancer. One lead singer, five responders, two Midanga players. So, likewise, such four groups were formed. So, Sarubda Mother was the lead singer. Sarubda Mother sings very sweetly according to mood of Lord Chaitanya. So, he was the lead singer um, and he was given five assistants. Uh, the Lord then formed another group with Shivas Thakur as the chief singer and five singers to respond. Shrinitanda Prabhu was appointed as the chief dancer. So Shivas Thakur and Nityanda Prabhu has a very close relationship because he would stay in Shivas Thakur's home. So he was chief singer and Nitai was the chief dancer in the second group. Then the third group, uh, Mukunda was the chief singer and Haridas Thakur was the chief dancer. In the fourth, Govinda Ghosh was the chief singer and Vakresha Pandit was the chief dancer. Um, um, so first is Sarup Damodar singing, Advaita dancer. Second, Shivas Thakur singing, Nita is the chief dancer. The third, Mukunda is singing, Haridas Thakur is chief dancer. And the fourth, Govinda Ghosh is singing, and Vakisha Pandit is a chief dancer. So likewise, they were divided. Kulina Gramera Eka, Kirtaniya Samaj, Tahanitya Karena Rama, Nanda Satya Raj. There was a Sankirtan party from the village known as Kulina Gram. This is also in Bengal. And Ramananda and Satya Raj were appointed as the dancers of this group. Um, so there was another Kirtan party, which is the fifth party. And there were dancers like Ramananda Roy and uh, Satya Raj Khan. 
शांतिपुरेरा आचार्यरा एका संप्रदाय अच्युतानंदा नाचेता था आरसाबा गाया देर वॉज एनदर पार्टी दैट केम फ्रॉम शांतिपुर एंड वॉज फॉर्म बाय अद्वैत आचार्य अच्युतानंदा वॉज द डांसर एंड रेस्ट ऑफ द मैन वर सिंगर सो अद्वैत आचार्य शांतिपुर अच्युतानंदा इज द सन ऑफ अद्वैत आचार्य so he came with his own naturally advaita acharya was part of first kirtan party four kirtan parties made by lord one kirtan party the whole party came from just like you know in our temple we may have say a kirtan group and they go and join wherever so likewise one kirtan group came from kulinagram one kirtan group came from um, shantipur advaita acharya prabhu's uh, Uh, sons kirtan party chutananda and four formed by lord so total six so far and then there is another kirtan party was formed by the people of khanda these people were singing in different place in that group narahari and ragunandan were dancing so there are total seven kirtan parties uh, made by the lord uh, this is just a description of uh, before the lord ecstatic dancing began just a background description is going on four parties chanted and danced in front of lord jagannath and on either side was another party yet another was at the rear um, so four in front of the lord two by the side and one behind so seven kirtan parties surrounding um, um, lord jagannath <coughs> there were all together seven parties of sankirtan and each party two men were beating drums thus 14 drums were being played at once the sound was tumultuous and all the devotees became mad uh, all the vaishnavas came together like the assembly of clouds as the devotees chanted the holy name in great ecstasy tears fell from their eyes like rain so it was a tumultuous kirtan Uh, 14 mridangas and everyone in sync unison uh, uh, all around jagannath jagannath could hear the holy name the environment surcharged with devotion and devotees who were singing dancing participating they all were like clouds with tears as rain so profusely crying while chanting and it was um um This is what it was, and words cannot describe. Tribhuvana bhadi uthe kita niradhvani anyavadya diradhvani ki choi na suni. When the sankirtan resounded, it filled the three words. Indeed, no one could hear any sound or musical instruments other than the sankirtan. Actually, it's very difficult for kirtan to penetrate because uh, so many other sounds are there. generally if you go now among millions of people if you even do kirtan with four five devotees other than 10 15 people range nobody can hear the sankirtan but it is described that mahaprabhu was there and his anitaya and advaita and shivas thakur and vakresh pandit and all his devotees when they were performing sankirtan other musical instruments no other sound could be heard only sankirtan by 14 mridangas and seven kirtan like completely taken over the whole festival by mahaprabhu's group of course people come from all over the world um, at least all over india uh, but the influence of mahaprabhu's sankirtan lord chaitanya mahaprabhu wandered through the all seven groups um, chanting the holy name hari hari raising his arms he shouted all glories to lord jagannath so mahaprabhu was in ecstasy and he would jump and he would shout all glories to lord jagannath all glories to lord jagannath um Throughout the seven groups, chanting the name of Hari Hari, and he went from one group to another to another, and every group the dancing was going on. So he went to one group, danced with them; another group danced with them. So in this way, okay. So we are almost coming to the end of what we had for today. Ara eka shakti prabhu kaila prakash eka kale sata thani karila vilas. Now Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then exhibited another mystic power by performing. um past time simultaneously in all seven groups so this we will see um from here next week onwards um when chaitanya mahaprabhu started his performing um um displayed his mystic powers by expanding himself in all seven groups and dancing and some of the past times there
okay that's all i have if there is anything anyone want to see Hare Krishna Prabhu Ji, <clears throat> One general question, Prabhu Ji, like um, when we visit any family members from our friends' home, like if they, uh, if we uh, want to offer food and if we see like some other Guru Maharaj in the altar, like uh, then like how do we offer Prabhu Ji? I mean like, uh, however, like the person that doing offering can um request that guru maharaj or like the person which is in altar has to be requested so you go to somebody's home and they have their own spiritual master and you have to offer food mm -hmm. yeah so um different spiritual masters are seen on the same platform Mataji. so we see all spiritual masters just like our spiritual master also and when when i am in such situation then i offer through my spiritual master mentally and to the spiritual master over there so in that way we maintain that vision so when we say pranav mantra by that time like uh, which one we have to say yeah you can say pranav mantra only to your spiritual master um, okay. but you offer through both of them in that way okay. you see they both are on a spiritual platform, um, same tattva or like pure devotees of Lord Krishna. Understand. Thank you. Okay, so maybe we can end here. Manchatal Patanu Vesha Kripa Sindhu Bhaeva Chapatita Nam Pava Vaishnavi 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 Prabhuji, sorry, Prabhuji, one more question. Prabhuji, like for uh, Ratha, like uh, once the uh, Ratyatra festival is done, like um, the old Ratha, like, like where it is being yeah. presented to visible or like what? Yeah, people take it away. <laughs> so there is a Jagannath temple in New Delhi. Uh, and what they have is they have a Rath of Lord Jagannath. Uh, a wheel of Lord Jagannath uh, from the Rath used in 2018. So different people take different parts away as Mahaprasad and it goes away. Next year again the Rath is formed. To see like there won't be anything. Jagan Mataji? To see like in case like if you visited like after Rathayatra festival maybe like it won't be visible then like if it is distributed by press yeah it is it is distributed people i don't know how they do it but it is it is worn from there and different people are eager and some of them also carve jagannath deities from the wood used and said and some of them use the wood so yeah many things they do with the wood all jagannath deities are wood deities like thousands of wood deities Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Then we're going to Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Then we're going to have a Prabhuji. Prabhuji, Radhayatra, first comes Baladev Radh. Second, Shubhadrama. And third, Jagannath. Is there behind, is there any reason, Prabhuji? Behind, yeah, I don't know much. I also noticed that even in our Detroit Ratyatra, first they bring Balde, then they bring Subhadra, and at last they bring Jagannath. I've seen that. Tradition. I don't know the reason, Mataji. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. Thank you.